Good day, everyone. I am Dyron Castro Torres, the genealogist. And today we're going to be doing the genealogy of Wilkins, Jimmy Urbina, and myself, who those two are my uh, second cousins. So we're going to find out how exactly we're related and then our shared genealogy, which maybe a lot of you will also be related to us. So without further delay, let's get into it. This is the Wikipedia page of the great Wilkins, a very, very famous singer in Puerto Rico. Uh, he was born in Mayaguez in 1953. His real name is Herm uh, German Wilkins Velez Ramirez. Um, you can see his father is Herman Velez Forestier, and he also had a sister named Bruni Velez, who was a journalist in Puerto Rico. Um, she passed away, but he made a beautiful song in tribute to her. Uh, Wilkins is very famous, world famous. Um, and he made the Lambada famous, you know, the, the Lambada, the Forbidden Dance. He made it famous in Latin America. He has a large discography. This is all his albums. Still makes music, still makes videos. He actually has a castle in Argentina that he lives in. One of his uh, most famous songs is called Margarita. Uh, yeah, he has just a great voice and he's very entertaining. Very classy man. All right, so this is his parents' uh, marriage record. They were married in 1948 in Mayagüez. This is his father, Herman Velez Forestier, and his mother, Aria Ramirez Jimenez. This is actually his grandmother, his maternal grandmother, Maria Luisa Jimenez. She was a, a witness to the, the wedding. Got a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to try to get through it quick. Please work with me. This is the 1940 census in Mayagüez. This is his grandmother, Aurea. This is her father, Arturo Ramirez Morales, and mother, Maria Luisa Jimenez Ramirez. And Urbina is going to be the family name that we're going to be uh, focusing on. This is his grandmother. This is a family photo of him and his family. This is Wilkins right here. This is his grandmother, Maria Luisa. This is the marriage of his grandmother, Maria Luisa. She marries in 1923 with Arturo Ramirez Morales. And Arturo is the son of Juan Ramirez. Juan Iseas Ramirez. You see the Trigueña. They got some color to them. And Juana Morales, who's also Trigueña. She's from San Germán, and he's from Yauco. And then Maria Luisa Jimenez Urbina. She is the daughter of Modesto Jimenez. 
from Mayagüez, who is Blanca or Blanco. And Primitiva Urbina from Sidra, which we're gonna be talking about a lot today. Blanca. Okay, so remember uh, Primitiva Urbina. This is the death record of Primitiva Urbina. She dies in 1928, Urbina Vasquez. Okay, we'll be talking about this family too. Primitiva Urbina Vasquez. Or some people say Vasquez. And her husband, Modesto Jimenez. This is Wilkins' grand grandmother. Maria Luisa, and she's the daughter of Elario Urbina and Luisa Vasquez, both from Sidra. Okay, so remember these two, we're gonna be talking about them. This is how all three of us are related to their children, the children of Elario Urbina and Luisa Vasquez. Okay, now we're gonna go to Jimmy Urbina, and he is a salsero. This is one of, one of his albums and his orchestra called Revolución 70. This is Jimmy Urbina in the middle. They also got some great music, great salsa music. Uh, Wilkins is more of a Spanish or Latin pop, and he is uh, salsa. Both worth listening to. All right, this is the father of Jimmy Urbina, well, his parents. This is Jacintito, he's the, the son of Jacinto Urbina. He's the, the second one. My father remembers him very well. He says he was a tall man, at least 6'3", it looks like here. And this is his wife. This is the death record of Jacintito. He died in 1986 in Carolina. Jacinto Urbina Ruiz. This is his wife, Manuela Sanchez. He's the son of Jacinto the Senior Urbina and Cruz Ruiz. And you can see right here the informante is Jimmy Urbina, the son. This is the grandfather of Jimmy Urbina, also named Jacinto Urbina. He dies in Bayamón in 1971. Jacinto Urbina Vasquez, see this combination right here. And his wife is Cruz Ruiz Quiles. And he is the son of Eladio Urbina and Luisa Vasquez. She's from Sidra. And right here it says he's from the Canary Islands, but that's not true. His grandfather is from the Canary Islands. So this is a mistake. Okay, so now let's get to my branch. This is the 1950 census. Uh, in Loisa, Puerto Rico, where my father was born. This is my father right here, Louis Angel. Two years old, my aunt, my tita Maria, Maria Luisa, you'll see that name a lot. And my grandmother, Maria Antonia Urbina, and my grandfather, Luis Felipe Castro. Aviles, this is his father, Arcadio Castro. It's irrelevant to the conversation. This is my grandmother's brother right here, Manuel Urbina, uh, Angel Manuel Urbina. This is me and my grandmother in Sidra, Tyron Castro Torres, the genealogist right here, and Maria Antonia Urbina Rosario. This is her land in, in Sidra. This is like the, maybe the early 90s. This is my grandmother's 
uh, first vector. Antonia Maria or Maria Antonia Urbina Rosario. She was born in Sidra. This is her father, Angel Urbina. And her mother, uh, Georgina Rosario. And her grandparents are on the record. Eladio Urbina and Luisa Vasquez. And then her paternal, I mean maternal side is uh, Marcos Rosario and Nicolasa Lopez de Victoria. And you can see right here, Modesto Jimenez is the, well he was her godfather also, but that's the great grandfather of Wilkins. Okay, now this is my great-grandfather, Angel Urbina Vasquez. He had blue eyes. Can't really see it here, but supposedly all the Urbinas have blue eyes. This is his marriage, his wedding. He marries in 1925. Angel Urbina Vasquez in Sidra. Um, the son of Eladio Urbina and Luisa Vasquez and Georgina Rosario Lopez is the mother of Marcos Rosario and Nicolesa Lopez de Victoria. Pay attention to these two, oh, I'm sorry, to Marcos Rosario and Nicolesa Lopez because they, the Urbinas and the Rosario family married into each other many times. In fact, three brothers married four sisters, and my great-grandfather actually had children with two, with Georgina and her older sister. So this is 1930, and they are living together as a happy family. So this is the father, Eladio Urbina. This is Angel Urbina, my great-grandfather. My great-grandmother, Georgina Rosario, Urbina, De Urbina. And then you can see her sister, Delfina, is living with them. And she's the mother of Rosendo, the oldest son. See, he's 10. So Rosendo's the oldest out of these three because he has a different mother, and this is Delfina. And Marcos, their father, is living with them. So these two are sisters. And these three are brothers and sisters. And they're half brothers, but their mothers are sisters. And this is my grandmother. This is Rosendo, the oldest son. You can see right here. He was born in 1920 in, in Sidra. Rosendo Urbina, you see he's a hijo natural. So they added this later. And he's the son of Delfina Rosario, the daughter of Marcos Rosario and Nicolesa Lopez de Victoria. And this was added later. Angel Urbina uh, made him legit or, or recognized him as his son. Okay, so let's get into Eladio Urbina and Luisa Vasquez. This is their marriage record. They were married in 1881. Eladio Urbina, Maria Luisa Vasquez, and Eladio, they married in Sida. Sorry. Eladio is the son of Isidro Urbina and Michaela Herena and Maria Luisa Vasquez is the daughter of Domingo Vasquez and Maria Lorenzo Lorenza Santiago. This is from uh, La Gaceta de Puerto Rico. And right here you can see Eladio Urbina donated money for some victims of a fire in Sabana Grande. Kind-hearted man. Okay, so his father is Isidro Urbina. And this is his baptism in 1816 in Calle, Isidro. And he's the son of 
Juan Francisco Urbina, and Francesca Argenciones. This is a um, kind of weird name, but you see it sometimes, Argenciones. And I don't know its origins. Could be Basque, could be Italian. I have no idea. Then you got their wedding. They were married in 1833 in Sidra, Isidro Urbina from Calle, and he's the son of Juan Urbina and Francesca Argencione and Micaela Herena. She's from Caguas, the legitimate daughter of Barnaby Herena and Margarita Villafaña. And one of Wilkins' most famous songs, or one of my favorite songs, is called Margarita. So that, that's pretty funny. Okay, this is the marriage in 1807 in Calle. Uh, Juan Francisco Urbina and Francesca Argenciones. They're both uh, widowers and widow, respectively. And you can see right here Juan Francisco Urbina, and he's from La Laguna in the Canary Islands, uh, which is in Tenerife, the biggest island. And then Francesca Argenciones, and she's also a widow, but she's from Puerto Rico. This is the baptism of Francesca. Right here, she was baptized in 1781 in Calle. She's the daughter of Jose Vicente Argiciones and Isabel Rivera. This is going to be Rivera Irlanda, which a lot of people descend from this family, so it could be related to us through them. This is the death record of Jose Vicente Argenciones. He dies in 1805 in Calle. And you can see it says his wife, Isabel Rivera, but it doesn't mention his parents. But I have uh, his mother, her death record. She dies in 1797 in San Juan. Polonia Amesquita, who she must be a descendant of uh, Juan de Amesquita y Quijano, who was a famous captain in Puerto Rico. He fought in the Battle of 1625. So she must be a descendant for them, although I can't prove it because I don't have no records beyond this. Uh, but I descended from him on another line, so. So, Polonia Amesquita, she's the daughter of Bernanda Amesquita, and she's married to Francisco Josef Argenciones. And down here it says uh, some of her children, and Ho Jose Vicente is right here. All right, let's move on to Margarita. Margarita. This is her baptism in 1793. Margarita Villafaña. This is a very popular name in Puerto Rico, especially in the Manati, Arecibo area. So Margarita is the, son, the daughter of Ignacio Villafaña and Maria Villafaña. So they are related. And Julian and Barbara Villafaña are the uh, padrino, or the godparents, and they're going to be his brother and sister. So this is the 1793 marriage record of Ignacio Villafaña and Maria Villafaña. They were married in Macau. 
And Ignacio is the son of Diego Villafaña and Josefa de la Cruz. And Maria Villafaña is the daughter of Josef Villafaña and Josefa Robledo, sometimes written as Robles. And you can see right here that they were, uh, they had a marriage dispensation of a segundo grado, the second degree of consanguinity, which means that Diego and Josef are brothers. And Ignacio and Maria are first cousins. So Diego was baptized, was from Manati, but he was baptized in Arecibo in 1735. Diego, hijo de Jose de Villafaña and Maria Garcia, and they're from Manati. This is his death record in 1804. Diego Villafaña, he's living at Homacao at this time, but he's from Manati, as the other record said. Uh, you see down here, it says his wife, Josefa de la Cruz, and some of his children, Barbara, who was the padri uh, madrina, and Julian, who was the padrino, and then we go, Ignacio. There's two Julians, but that could be a mistake. Okay, so these are some of the children of Sebastián Durán Villafaña, who was a famous captain of Puerto Rico. He came from he came from Spain, from southern Spain, and immigrated to Puerto Rico as a military official. So these are some of his children: uh, Ignacio, Andrea, Magdalena, Tomasa, Antonia, and this is our guy right here, Jose. And Sebastián uh, Durán Villafaña was, uh, he died in 1753, and he was one of the founders of Manatí. And he's still, uh, he's buried there in Manatí in the church. This is his wife, Maria de Rosario Aranda. And she died in 1738. This is uh, um, a muster military uh, muster roll from Arecibo, Puerto Rico. So these are all the uh, militants in Puerto Rico, part of the militia. And you can see Sebastian up here in the top right. Sebastian. De Villafaña, all the way in the top right. Okay, all the way back down to Luisa Vasquez. Now we're going to work on the Vasquez line. This is her death record in 1902. She dies in Calle, Luisa Vasquez, Santiago, the wife of Eladio Urbina Herena. And these are her children, Jacinto Urbina, the grandfather of Jimmy Urbina, Primitiva Urbina, the great-grandmother of Wilkins, and Angela Urbina, my great-grandfather. And she is the daughter of Domingo Vasquez Vasquez and Maria Santiago Ramos. Ramos. Okay, this is her father, Domingo. This is his uh, baptismal record in 1815. Domingo Lorenzo, and he's baptized in Calle, and he's the son of Sylvester Vasquez and Juana Vasquez. So you know they're gonna be related. And this is his death record. He died in 1889 in Sidra, 
Domingo Vasquez, the son of Sylvester Vasquez, and Juana Vasquez, and he married Maria Santiago. Okay, this is Sylvester Vasquez, his father. This is his baptism in 1783. He's baptized in Calle, Sylvester de Jesus, and he's the son of Benito Vasquez and Doña Tomasa Aponte. This is the marriage record in 1802 of Sylvester Vasquez and Juana Vasquez. They married in Calle. You see Don Sylvester Vasquez and the son of Don Benito Vasquez and Doña Tomasa Aponte. And he's marrying Juana Vasquez, the legitimate daughter of Don Felipe Vasquez and Isabel Vasquez. So it's kind of confusing, but they're, they're all related. So Benito and Felipe and Isabel are all related. And you can see right here, there, uh, there was a marriage dispensation, a uh, third degree and a third with a fourth degree. And I'll explain how that how that works later. It means that uh, the third with the fourth, that means that is uh, once removed. So this is the marriage of Benito Vasquez and Tomasa Aponte in 1782 in uh, Calle. And Benito is the legitimate son of Tomas Vasquez and Margarita Rodriguez. There goes that name again, Margarita. And Tomasa Aponte is the daughter of Don Domingo Aponte and Doña Basilia Colón. And if you see my other video, you know the Colón family descends from Christopher Columbus. This is the death record in 1805 of Benito Vasquez. He dies in Calle in 1805. He's a sergeant major. His wife, Tomasa Aponte. And you can see right here, it's hard to read, but he was shot. So he died from a gunshot wound and the crime went unsolved. And then this is the father, Tomas Vasquez. He died in 1812 in Guayama, Tomas Vasquez. He was also in the military. Margarita Rodriguez is his wife, and this is his children, and Benito's right here. Okay, we go to Tomasa. Aponte, Colón. She, this is her baptismal record. She was baptized in 1763 in Cuamo. Maria Tomasa, she's the daughter of Domingo Aponte and Doña Basilia Colón. Uh, Basilia Colón is also, she also goes by the name Paola or Paula. So it's Paula Basilia Colón. This is the death record of Domingo Aponte. He dies in Calle in 1796. And this is his wife, Paula Colón, Paula Basilia. And I'll prove it by, I need you to pay attention to his son, Apolinar Aponte. So you can see right here, Apolinar is the son of Domingo Aponte and Paula Colón. So try to remember that, uh, but we'll move on because this is 1777 and um, they're baptizing a child. So they're the godparents, Domingo Aponte and Paula Colón. But you can see right here, his name is Aponte Villegas. 
And from that compound surname, we're able to determine who his parents are, because Ana Ponte married a Vallegas, and it's the only uh, marriage of its kind. So that's how we're able to prove. And this is the death of Paula Vasilia Colón. She dies in Calle in 1801. This is her husband, Domingo Aponte. And this is the marriage of their son, who on the death record of Domingo Aponte was the son of Paola Colón. But here it says Apolinar Aponte, the son of Domingo Aponte and Basilia. So that's how you know that she went by both names. So this is 1730 in San Juan, a marriage record of Nicolás Aponte and Maria Apolonia Fernández de Silva, but she also used the name Villegas, because that's her mother's name. So Nicolás de Aponte, and he's from Cuamo, the son of Capitan, uh, Captain Nicolás Díaz de Aponte and Ana de Matos, and he's marrying Maria Apol Apolonia Fernandez de Silva. And she's from San Juan. And she's a widow and the daughter of Captain Don uh, Domingo Fernandez de Silva and Juana de Villegas. So their son is Domingo Aponte Villegas. Um, and right here, 1680. So this is far back, guys. This is before, 100 years before the United States is even formed. 1680, a marriage in San Juan between Alferes Domingo Fernandez de Silva. This is a military rank. And he is from uh, Carachico, which is in Tenerife in the Canary Islands. So you see a lot of uh, Canarios came to Puerto Rico. He's the son of Amador Fernandez de Silva and Polonia Inicel. And he's marrying Doña Juana Villegas. She's from San Juan. And she's the legitimate daughter of Alferes Jacinto de Villegas. And no mother's mentioned, but uh, I'll show you that she's the daughter of Francesca Villegas. Now, this is uh, from a transcription of a record from Pares, and it's saying that Domingo Fernandez de Silva is saying that his wife didn't receive anything from her father, meaning as a dowry or she didn't inherit anything from him. So he's saying everything that they have belongs to him. And you might ask why, and I'll show you. In 1673, this is the census of San Juan. You see, this is the house of Francesca Villegas, the mother of Juana Villegas. And this is the other um, daughter that she was mentioned in the other record. That I forgot to point it out. But, and you might ask what happened to Jacinto Villegas. Let's see. Well, in 1663, uh, this guy right here, Gaspar Velez Mantilla, came to Puerto Rico and started uh, charging people with contraband. So these men right here, uh, Pablo Olivares, Luis de Salinas Ponce de Leon, a descendant of Juan Ponce de Leon, Jacinto Villegas, two uh, church officials, and a slave, uh, heard about a, a, a sunken treasure ship and off the coast of the Bahamas, and supposedly they went to get it, and they, they made out with the, with the silver and, and the treasure. So Jacinto was sentenced to the the gallows, which is he had to roll the boats for the for the for the flota, and I don't think he was ever seen again in Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go over here. This is another family. This is uh, Lorenza. Oh, no, sorry. Let's go here. Felipe. This is the other Vasquez line. This is the marriage in 1783 of Felipe Vasquez and Isabel Vasquez. So Felipe is the son of Pedro Vasquez and Francesca Quinones, and Isabel is the daughter of Mateo Vasquez and Victoriana Sanchez. And this also had a, a marital dispensation, which means the people getting married were related somehow. And a segundo con a second grade with a third grade which means that there was a, a, a once removed, and I'll show you in the, in, in the chart. Okay, so this is from a book um, by Ella, Eli de Oquendo Rodriguez, uh, and it's about the history of Ponce. And right here, we see Pedro Vasquez de Rivera, and he marries uh, Francesca Quinones, as you saw on the record. And Francesca is the daughter of Herman Martin de Quinones and Maria Ortiz de la Renta. And Herman is the son of Andres Martin de Quinones, Martinez de Quinones, usually Martin, and Ana Montalvo, which is a very popular name in Puerto Rico. And this Andres is the son of another Andres, Martin de Quinones, and uh, Emerancia Sana. And I have more information on where the Martin de Quinones come from, but uh, I won't be showing that today. Maybe in another video. Um, so then the mother... This is the baptism of uh, Maria Rivera. This is on the, the center side. And she's the daughter of Leonardo Rivera and Doña Catalina Alvarado. But she goes by Colon Alvarado. Uh, some records you see Alvarado, some you see Colon, and some you see Alvarado de Colon or Colon de Alvarado. So she went by both names. This is 1715. Um, this is her death record. Uh, Maria Rivera. She died in 1804 in Guayama. Uh, this is her parents, Leonardo Rivera and Catalina Colón. You see the other record they called her Alvarado. And she marries Jose Sanchez. And over here, this is her children. And right here is Victoria Sanchez, who was the mother of, uh, in the other record. Sorry. Victoria is the mother of Isabel Vasquez. Uh, the Colon Alvarado name, I'll show you right here, uh, Leonardo Rivera and Catalina de Alvarado y Colon. You see she uses both on this record. And the only Alvarado Colon uh, marriage at that time, the only one, is between Capitan Antonio Colon de Luyendo and he's married Doña Catalina de Alvarado. So the daughter took the name of the mother and she took both names. So Catalina Alvarado and Antonio Colón de Luyendo had a daughter named Catalina Colón de Alvarado or Alvarado Colón. And then that same Antonio, this is his uh, third marriage. And he's marrying someone in 1784. 
Catalina has already passed away, so he's a widow, a widower, and he's the son of Capitan Antonio Colón de Luyendo and Catalina Espinosa. If you watched my last video, you, I spoke about the Colón de Luyendo family. The Luyendos were descended from the Basque conqueror Francisco Juancho de Luyendo and Diego Ramos de Orozco, another conqueror that arrived in Puerto Rico with Ponce de Leon. And the Colon family, according to the merits of Juan Lorenzo de Matos, the Colon family are descended from Christopher Columbus, also known as Cristobal Colon. Okay, so back down here, Lorenza. This is Lorenza Santiago. Maria Lorenza, this is her death record. She dies in 1887 in uh, Calle, second last name is Ramos, um, her son, I mean her husband, uh, Domingo Vasquez, this is their child, Luisa Vasquez, who is the great grandmother of me, Wilkins, and Jimmy Urbina. She's the daughter of Don Jose Santiago and Doña Basilia Ramos. And they passed away. This is the marriage record of her parents. They married in 1816 in Calle. Juan Jose Santiago and Maria Basilia Ramos. Juan is the son of uh, Miguel Santiago and Elaria Rivera. And Maria Basilia Ramos is the daughter of Jose Ramos and Margarita Abraro. Now this is the 1792 marriage of them two. In Cuamo they marry Jose Ramos from Calle, the son of Pedro and Barbara Vasquez, there goes that name again, and Margarita Alvarado, legitimate daughter of Ambrosio Alvarado, and Maria Colón. So if you remember the meritos, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the merits of Juan Lorenzo de Matos, he says very clearly that the Colón family are descended from the discoverer of the New World, Christopher Columbus, or Cristobal Colón, and the Alvarado family are descendants from Pedro Alvarado, who was a very famous uh, captain under Hernán Cortés in the conquest of Mexico, and Guatemala, and, and even Peru. Um, this is the marriage of Pedro Ramos, and Barbara Vasquez in 1759. I believe this is in Guayama. And it's hard to read, so let's see. Pedro Ramos is the son of Tomas Ramos and Lenor de Aponte, who she's related to the other Aponte family. In fact, she's the sister of uh, Nicolás. And Barbara. Uh, Vasquez de Rivera, she is the daughter of Juan Vasquez de Rivera, a very famous uh, captain in Puerto Rico who was involved in the 1711 rebellion in San Germán. And this is his wife, Juliana Alvarado, a descendant of Pedro Alvarado. This is Ambrosio, the death record in 1785, Ambrosio Alvarado. And he married Maria Colón, so the Colón Alvarado marriage again. And finally, 1801, the marriage, uh, the death record of Maria Colón, the spouse of Ambrosio Alvarado. She dies in Cuamo. See right here, Margarita. And uh, 
she's a slave owner and she's giving away slaves to her children, but one of the slaves, Hilaria, is granted her liberty in 1801. And that's it. Family tree of Wilkins, Jamie Urbina, and myself. I'm right here. Jamie Urbina, son of Jacinto, son of Jacinto the first, children of Elario Urbina and Maria Luisa Vasquez. The other daughter, Primitiva Urbina, marries Modesto Jimenez, my grandmother's godparents. Their daughter is Maria Luisa, who you've seen the photo with Wilkins. His daughter, Aurea Ramirez, Herman Velez Forestier, that's who she marries. And they're the parents of the great and powerful Wilkins. This is my branch, my father, my grandmother, and Angel Urbina. You see there's a lot of Canary Islanders here. Canary Islands, San Francisco de Urbina. He was from the Canary Islands. He was from Spain. Actually, they both were. And uh, before I forget, this marriage right here was a second, was a third degree of consanguinity and a third with a fourth. Now I'll, ex I'll explain. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the other one was one, two, three. One, two, three, four. So I hope that made sense. Um, like I said, I have more information here. I have more information, but here I, I explained her ancestors, but uh, that, that line could go on forever. Um, I didn't have enough room. Then, as always, the Alvarado and Colon connection. Alvarado Colón, very notable families in Puerto Rico. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, follow, subscribe, and share. Palante.